Greetings, I'm Dragon Savan, and welcome back to the last episode of XCOM 2 on this save file. Very important on this save file. The DLC will be arriving next week, if uh, my plan is right, and uh, then I will uh, get it as soon as I can and uh, continue from there. Though, probably on a new file completely. Why? Well, from what I understand, the DLC called War of the Chosen. Uh, at least I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's gonna be a massive uh, DLC, so it's gonna change a lot of the things that um, like affect just uh, how some of the missions work and such. So I'm pretty sure I can continue in this. So, you know, might as well uh, see how it goes, uh, try something a bit uh, dumb. And that thing being taking uh, rookies into a facility. I'm sure some people have done it before and had great success. But uh, if you've seen my previous episodes, you also know I do not have great success. And when I do have great success, it's when the game either pities me or wants to make me feel safe for like an hour and then stab me in the back. Oh, Eastern US. Oh, continental, uh, continental bonus game. Thank you. What is the continental bonus actually? It's only a tour. Uh, arms of Chief. Oh, yeah, that's right. All primary women get an additional upgrade slot. <coughs> Sorry. So, should we just uh, go in? Let's have a quick look at the soldiers, the fine recruits. I'm not even sure I have enough. That's not the armory. Uh, right, the soldiers. Ah, we got five. That's uh, one in spare, even. So, let's see. Weapon upgrade. Might as well use them. I have a bad uh, habit of always um, keeping, uh, like, uh, limited. Uh, when I have limited um, supplies of things, I always have this bad habit of. It's saving them for too much, so I basically almost never get any use of them, which is kind of sad. So let's see, you get superior scope, and I'm I'm gonna make this uh, guy a beast basically. Um, what is this missing? Shot steel. These two damage exactly what we want because we got shot aim. That could probably help me a lot in the last episode, but you know, as I just said, I have a bad habit of never using uh, limited items, which is bad. Ooh, I can color it too. Let's uh, make it red, blood red or something. Silly like that. And you basically get almost the same. Um, you just get shady aim because we only had one good scope. Then you get this dog on, and you also get this, and you get something similar. This nice pink, it's a sort of lighter red if you uh, squint your eyes a bit. But you know, fine otherwise, and you get a laser sight, eh, which increases crit chance, and it's not a bad thing. Then you don't need the uh, higher damage or anything, you just crit them, right? And you are a critter, so you get a nice light green. Actually, I quite like the, this one. That's good. There we go. And nice hair. Might be quite serious. That looks like a sort of warmonger thing. It might uh, be what we need to scare the aliens. And you get a yellow, yellow for crit. But you're wearing green armor. Hmm. Cool. Alright. Let's get to it. There's no point being, uh, I don't know, hanging around here. Just go for it. After all, you might even succeed and may make a final, uh, good final battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The details we need to move on the aliens facility. Wait. This is our chance to set back their work hmm, on what's the, the yellow project? one? Miller. I'm pretty sure that's how I say it. Go away. And we want Patricia. Um, utility items, I'm pretty sure we don't have squad. 
Well, we had the freeze grenade, but honestly, I don't like the freeze grenade. It has so little radius. Can we build anything? Armor. Nope, that's what I thought. I can't even make those. And by what I thought is basically in last episode, I wasn't sure if I could make them or not. But now I know I can't. Ooh, we all make some mind shields. One for each. Ah, then those bloody sectoids can come here with us freaking mind control and then we will kick him in the ass. Right? No, no, no not you, Muller. Or Muller. Or how I said it first time. Alright, so we got uh, you. And you. You be crit, you be aim. And uh, damage, and you also aim and damage, and you crit. Alright, let's go. Actually, I somehow feel this might actually work because I'll break the weapons like that. If I had just done that in the beginning, when I got the parts. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. Now, starting to see what type of facility it's gonna be. And by type, I mean the layout. That doesn't tell me much. That's a tree in there. But, uh, yeah. Plenty for charges in the facility. Alright. Hopefully, everyone got them. And then escape. Yeah, sure. I believe this is where I get to place the um, Easter egg thing. Uh, so, right? I'm not sure. Oh. Well, you didn't get to see him jump out. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. The squad is concealed. X4 charges. Fine. Now let's see. Moving on target. Nice. Somehow there's panning. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit over there. Which is a bit of a shame because we kind of want to get there right away, right? Affirmative. Okay, so you are full upgrade. And you're not. And neither are you. So should I get the full upgrades on the roof? Ah, never mind. That roof is uh, not that long. So we should just get you Roger. forward. Alright, that's you. And then we got the, the cool hair lady. Alright. And... Well, well, sure. From the movement. And as I was thinking, the aliens are not out here, at least not yet. So we don't have to worry too hard about that. Roger that. Mm -hmm. Still nothing, though I have a feeling they will soon be appearing. If nothing else, turrets on the roofs. Yeah, you're moving, and you'll also be on the move now. Oh wait, oh you're going above. I just noticed as I clicked that the line that shows where they go were well, like from in there, so I feared he was gonna make noise jumping through a window. Like as you can see, that will apparently give me away. Though that's it's kind of silly if the enemies are far away. But then again, there might be some aliens in there. Oh, over there. Oh, that's a shield. I don't like him. The thing is, can I just walk around him? Oh, uh, never mind. There are some guys there as well. Another shielder. Great. And, uh, alright, there's my control. I should probably get up here, get the advantage on uh, aiming. On it. Because I'm pretty sure I cannot get away from those guys. And I got, got silly half covers down there, so that's not good. Not good at all. Alright. Hmm. You have full cover but it is your and you I kinda want you over here but you can't neither read or do it without getting seen so I suppose this will do 
All right. And you, uh, you just hang out here. Basically because of the full cover, really. Nothing else. All right. You three are just gonna leave, right? See you around, or are you gonna hang out there now? Great. Of course, it's only the codex we can see, not the shield person. Oh, you can see the shield person though. That's good, that's good, that's really good. Uh, but you can move now. That's unfortunately not so good. Hmm. You'll go on a watch. Pretty sure whenever I take a shot at one of the shield guys, the other group will also get noticed. Well, not get noticed, get notified about uh, everything's going down, so you know. But I could have a good shot at that guy, but that's not a guarantee a kill if I hit him. Right, go for this one. Alright, and now shit is going down, right? <clears throat> yep. Oh, that crazy one is going around. Oh, and then if the other guy also hits, right? Of course you didn't. You only got the... Oh, you can see two! Oh, I still got two. Yeah, and then splits into two, and then uh, they're gonna do two vortex areas or something. Completely irritating like that, right? Oh, and these guys are on us too now. They... they all oh right, I was about to say they don't appear to uh, see as much, but they did. And well, you're teleporting, and now you're gonna do the vortex, right? Yep, you are. Which is a huge irritation. Oh, he's flanked now, I think. Yeah, that's what I didn't want you to do. Oh, you're gonna take a shot? Of course. And... Was that her screaming or someone panicked? Oh, you're also gonna see her. Well, that's great. That's why I want to first the shieldless, but uh, you know, can't have it my way. Okay. This is uh, <laughs> this is taking a downward turn way faster than I actually thought it will. I like thought I had at least two rounds before I started losing people. Commander, Menace One Five is taking heavy casualties down there. No, if really? We can't complete the objective. We should consider pulling the squad out. Yeah, consider and doing it is two different things, though, right? Can you taste me? Have to use grenades just to make sure I can actually kill that one, so it doesn't just make a new zone. In like a turn or something. Oh, right, I should have moved him first. I, only I forgot that uh, any damage move kinda takes your turn away. So he's probably just gonna uh, explode in, uh, you know, fancy fashion in that vortex black hole or whatever it is. Alright. Mm. Don't think that's gonna kill him because of the shield and the armor. Should we try though? So we know for another time. Nope, that's just the shield. Wait, the grenade didn't hit the other guy? What? Oh, he survived. So there's a big robot wanting to have a word with him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
You survived too, but you're poisoned, so you're probably gonna die on your turn. Right? That sounds about right, I believe. Ah, oh, never mind, you're gonna get in the back now again. Mm -hmm. Is this a buy for Pinky now? Oh, I should have named the weapon that actually. Had I known the episode would be this short, well, the encounter this short in a in hole, and I had used a bit more time on the customization, really. But, I suppose, we had to have a short episode at some point. But to be fair, it does sum up the this save file pretty well. You know, everything going to shit pretty fast. Even when it appears to go well, as we saw in the previous episode, it still takes a turn straight down. Not down a hill, no, straight down a cliff. So yeah, another awkward uh, flight home for Firebird. I think it's called Firebird at least. I know it gets told in like every mission or something, but I don't really listen to him. I mean, I'm pretty sure no one does, maybe the first few times, but then they eh. Just know that it's always the same thing. So, that's dark. Ah, well, I don't know what that screen was. But yeah. We, can do. we can't afford too many more operations like that. Well, you won't have to because uh, we only have one soldier left now. But that's not really important. But, yeah, everyone did. As I said, it sums it up pretty qu uh, well. Uh, there goes Flybird. <coughs> Firebird, not Flyblad. But Firebird, oh, I think it is. Anyway, uh, this save file will not uh, see it. Uh, see any more activity I don't believe so not only is it going very bad but um, it will be alright by the DLC I'm still not sure if that actually happens but that's just what I gotta assume it is but um, yeah this is it for now well this is the end for this I suppose but I do hope you will uh, return for the War of the Chosen episodes I will be making next week Hopefully, assuming it uh, launches as planned and I get it up and running as planned. But yeah, see you then.